Maximo has recently introduced a new workflow assignments application in the Maximo application suite. This new application provides your users additional insights, visualization, and flexibility in reviewing and approving their workflow assignments. So in today's demonstration brought to you by Maven Asset Management, let's take a look at the available options for your users on workflow assignments, both the existing Start Center portlet and this new application. We'll do a quick comparison and then we'll head on over to Maximo for a demonstration. Let's start here with our review. Traditionally, our users review their workflow assignments via the Inbox Assignment portlet on their Start Center. And they can see, as shown here, a list of the available actions that they need to take or workflow assignments that they need to re review, approve, and route. This is configurable. Depending on security access, you define what columns are set up. So again, this is the traditional way that our users review their inbox and assignments. Starting with Maximo Application Suite version 8.9, an operational dashboard was introduced. Within the operational dashboard, you can see highlighted over here on the bottom right, a workflow assignments container. Let's call it a container for now. And within this container, I can see at a top level what my assignments are, but also notice that they're highlighted in red if I have an overdue action that I need to take. So I get that immediate visualization of my status. But in addition to this container, if I navigate your eyes over here to the left, there's a new workflow assignments application or what we can often call a tool because it's based on the Maximo application framework. If I navigate to the workflow assignments application, now I see a much greater detail of my workflow assignments. On the very top, you can see I have a number of metrics so I can see where I am in terms of status. And then I can see more details related to those workflow assignments. This is configurable by the user, just the same as we showed with the work order application. I can manage my columns, adding, moving, whatever I might need to do. And also I have the ability to save different views or queries of my workflow assignments. If we do a quick comparison of the two features that are now available for us for workflow assignments, in the middle here, we have what we'll call our Maximo Classic inbox workflow assignment. Again, this is the portlet on the Start Center, comparing it to the wor new workflow assignments. Now I won't go through every column here, but as you can see, as we net, or excuse me, I won't go through every row here, but as you can start to see, many of the things are very much the same between the two of them. But then as you start to navigate down here towards the bottom, because of the platform that they're each based on, you're going to start to see some differences in terms of responsiveness, being able to display the app, for example, on a tablet versus a desktop and a laptop. So the, the new workflow assignment is made for that, which is perfect, especially if your user is more on the go and accessing this information via his browser on a tablet. And then again, you're going to get a lot more flexibility with the workflow assignments applications in terms of querying, sorting, filtering, and also setting that as your default app. Imagine you have a user who he primary responsibility for coming into Maximo is to pr approve records, whether they're work orders or purchase orders or PRs, whatever they might be, you could set the new workflow assignments as his default app and he can automatically sign into Maximo and be routed right there. How fantastic is that? Just another quick note before we leave and head over to our demonstration today, again, to give security access to the workflow assignments application, Go to Maximo Security Group application, but very importantly, in the application type, filter tool. So this is a tool. It's not an application, similar to all the other role-based applications in Maximo. And then if you simply put in the description of workflow, you can see it automatically shows up here, workflow assignments, tools, and tasks. Make sure you grant access. And again, you can access this either via the operational dashboard or from the navigation menu, it's available under the service desk module under role-based apps. 
and you'll also see it under the work order application. Well, now let's head over to Maximo and do a demonstration of the functionality. Let's start our demonstration today by looking first at the Maximo Start Center. Over here on the far right hand side, you can see that I have the workflow inbox or assignments portlet displayed. I can see that I have three records to review, I either approve them or route them, and I can see some great details, application, assignment status, and start date. If I have security privileges, I can click on the edit portlet button and either add or remove other fields that I might want displayed in that portlet. I'm going to leave it as is, but again, this is a great way for me to see those assignments. However, there's no indication if I'm behind due in reviewing those assignments. I have to actually look at the start date to realize that, wow, I'm way behind on my work here in improving or routing these workflow records. So let's take a look at a different way, and we're going to go, come over here to our operational dashboard. So within the operational dashboard, and drawing your attention down here to the bottom right, you can see a container for workflow assignments. I see those same three records that I need to take action on, but notice right away I now have that visual indicator. It's displaying red. My eyes are drawn to the fact that these are overdue records that I need to take action on. A couple other things that's really neat with, with this container is I can click on the actual record and it's going to take me to that application so I could see more details. In this case, the record that I need to review is a purchase rec, so it takes me right to that application. However, as you see, there's only two columns that are displayed for me in this container, and maybe I need more details. Well, to do that, I'm going to come over here to the new workflow assignments application, and let's open that up. As soon as I open this up, I'm going to see many, many more details than I did in that container. On the very top of this application, I can see some metrics. It's, again, highlighting that I have three overdue records that I need to review and either route or take action on, reassign, whatever I might need to do. And then there's some other metrics relating to if the assignments are due this week, if they're priority one, and if they're work order assignments. Then drawing your attention down here to the list view, again, I can see many, many more fields than I did on that initial container on my app dashboard. Plus, I do have the ability to configure these just like I do on the Start Center portlet. I simply click on the Manage Columns that's going to enable or display all the fields that are currently displaying on my list tab. And if I want to add or delete some, I simply click on the Manage Column field and I can come in here and add what other what other columns I might need to. Let me scroll through. I think there's about five pages here. I could also just type the value in if I knew what I was looking for, but in this case, I really don't know what I'm looking for, so I'm just going to select Process Revision, click OK, see how Process Revision shows up there. Now I disable or hide that Manage Column view, and as I scroll over here, here's my Process Revision column that now displays in my List tab. And similar to how we have application queries in the new applications that we have, which behind the scenes are tools based on the Maximo application framework, I can come in and save this as a new view. Again, think of a view as the application query. I'm going to save this as a new view. We'll just simply call it a demo. We'll allow other people to see it. And I'm going to go ahead and collect, or excuse me, collect, <laughs> select save. So that's how I can manage my display within the application to show those critical fields that I need. Just like, again, that we saw in the op dashboard, it's highlighting to me when these are due, these are overdue, so that's important. And then if I wanted to take action on a particular record, I would either route that or approve it or cancel. I'm not going to do this at that point in time. Just want to highlight that you have the ability to take the action on those individual records that are assigned to you from your workflow assignments right here in the application. So really nice, uh, new, exciting features available with the workflow assignments. And I should also highlight that it is available from your menu. Not only is it available from the work order and service request application, it's also available here from your My Recent Applications. Really nice features available. Hope you all get a chance to give them a try. Thank you very much for your time.